Oh, hello, you just caught me finishing mixing the RTV. It's very important you get right to the bottom. I mean, I'm using this black stuff, but as you can see, it's the same colour throughout, which is very important. Right, once you've mixed it, look, this is my method. You put it straight into the smaller chamber and you degas it. Right, you'll see the bubbles rise up. Now, I'm going to just turn it off if it gets too high. <laughs> As you can see yeah, from here, yeah, yeah. you just do that and it all sinks back down. You do it again and again until you get majority of the air out. This just makes it so much easier to put into the other chamber. And if you can see that from here, it's building back up again. Right, I'm just now going to pop this out of this chamber. I'm going to give it a very quick gentle mix up. Scrape off my mixing tool because this stuff's very expensive, as you may well all know. So, right. Now what I'm going to do, I hope you can see this, I'm going to pour it on the edge so it, it flows downwards. basically all this will level out and this is why you wear protective gloves you see because this stuff is near impossible to get off I'm just tilting the chamber so it all flows down into every little nook and cranny. Sorry about the heavy breathing, this is just very heavy chamber. As you can see it's all sort of covering over. Now if I need to I can always mix up a little bit extra you see. Because now I've given it all the coat. Right, I'm now going to degas it in this chamber as well. Right, taking these off so I don't get it all stuck to my lid. Right, that is now rubbish. Put the lid on, you put your pump on. I'm probably going to leave this in this chamber now, feed gas in for about. Five to ten minutes. I don't know if you can see the big air bubbles coming up already. Mm -hmm. I also made my seal at exactly the same seal. 
little time before I don't want to turn on the lid. You can see it's a very pale grey. Whereas the actual silicone is dark. This is because it's sealed all the way around the edge. I hope you can see all these air bubbles. It's very important to get all these out. I'm sure you don't want to watch this for 10, 15 minutes, but basically what happens is, once you've got all the air out, or you, you'll see it, it all suddenly sink. why these pieces of equipment are very expensive and they're well worthwhile investment. I hope you guys can see all these big, bigger bubbles popping. Right, I'm going to release the atmosphere back in so you can sort of see what it looks like once it's degassed. I don't know if you guys can see all that. It looks a bit bumpy at the minute. Let me take the lid off. Eventually, that will go just like this uh, TV. See how smooth it is at the top? This will go like this. And this will probably sit in here now for, what, uh, 16 hours? Um, which I'm sure you guys don't want to see see it see here sitting here for sort of 16 hours but to check the depth you can always grab yourself a pencil and just pop it in and see I found the tallest brick and you can see that's about how thick it is which is perfect for the bottom of the mould I shall be back in 16 hours to show you guys the um, reveal <laughs> 